In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins so that we may prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, and all the people hurried in amazement toward them, in the portico, in the portico called so Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power or pity? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has been made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did, but God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand, through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of the universe, times of universal restoration, of which God has spoken through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up from you among your own kin. From him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel to those afterwards also announced these days, You are the children of prophets, and the covenant that God made with your ancestors, he said to Abraham, in your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Our response is, Alleluia. O Lord our God, how gracious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him? or the Son of Man, that you should care for him. Alleluia. 
You made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. Alleluia. All sheep, oxen, yes, the beast of the field, birds of the air, and fish of the sea, and whatever swims in the path of the seas. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking of this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, and though that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do, you question, why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And he said this, show them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy, they were amazed. He asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Then he said to them, thus, is, thus it is written, that Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. The phrase in today's Gospel, peace be with you, is a good phrase for us to ponder upon or meditate upon during this time of our lives. With all this uncertainty and all this anxiety and tension building up in today's society, listen to those words in from today's scripture. Peace be with you. Because if our hearts and our minds are focused on Christ, peace will be upon us. My dear brothers and sisters, with one heart, let us offer our prayers to the Lord. For the church and her leaders, may God's grace fill them with strength and enthusiasm and in spreading the Easter message, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those in position of authority throughout the world, may the Lord guide them in ways of peace, justice, and conflict resolution. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Those burdened with physical and emotional or mental pain, may God's loving grace heal them. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here via the internet, may the Holy Spirit fo help us to focus our hearts on embracing his word and nurturing our lives of faith. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our brothers and sisters who have died, may God welcome them into the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering from this pandemic that's taking place within our world and those who are on the front lines trying to protect all of us, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we now hold deeply in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers in which we have presented here before you during this Easter season. May those prayers be answered in accordance with your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, and accept the sacrificial gift we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and those who hope in increase it, increased help from heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been fulfilled. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in, you, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who are not able to receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, and I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which we have been redeemed, which has redeemed us, 